my friend Andy Kriege, Wisconsin's finest. Good to see you. Hey, Tommy, how'd the show go for you? It's been an it was an unbelievable show. Our members and our vendors did a fantastic job. I couldn't be prouder of them, and the staff really stepped it up. Can't wait to see everybody in person in Nashville, but we made the best of it. Awesome. Hey, the comms team had a great show as well, Tommy. We had a lot of interaction. A lot of people stop off at our booth. Uh, we asked them for some feedback. They gave us lots of great feedback. Uh, we got a number of them signed up for our newsletters, which was great. So I just want to do another shout out for our newsletters. If you haven't signed up for the YSN newsletters, we ask you to go ahead and do that and get your staff signed up for that. So we had a lot of people come and do that. And we had them also had them sign up for some prizes. We gave away some sweatshirts and uh, it, it was just good overall. We really yeah, we have a lot of momentum. That's for sure. It's becoming the gold standard of the industry. You guys should be proud. I, I appreciate that, Tommy. Hey, tell me a little bit about this pool party thing. I'm not really too privy to the whole pool party scene. I've never been invited. Well, you know, from Wisconsin, you probably have a pretty short season of pool parties, but it's pretty relaxing just to uh, sit back, relax. We're going to have some winners. We're going to probably enjoy some beverages, adult beverages or sodas, just make everybody happy and just have some good banter. W what were you planning? Well, again, I've never, I never get invited to any of these things here. So I know Meeks and Risto are big on their checklists. So I thought, you sure. know, what, I mean, it's probably a good idea for me to put a checklist together for a pool party. So I went ahead and did it. I just thought I'd hit some of the prerequisites. So the first thing on my checklist here was to have a beach towel. I figured no pool party is complete without a beach towel. Looks good. And then what else do you need? You got to have a nice long brim sun cap. So I went ahead and got that. Of course, if this is going to be a pool party, you got to have your sunglasses, right? Well done. So you I got look my like a sunglasses. Veteran. Next thing on the list is sunscreen. Now, Tommy, I only got an eight block. I don't know in Iowa if an eight block covers it, but the sun never gets too high here. Yeah, I think you're gonna need a little bit more than that, but we'll discuss that later. We've got some friends around there, they'll share, but that, that's a good start. All right, because uh, I've got some pretty white legs, but I'll check that off. And then I, do, I did bring a PFD. I wasn't sure what the whole deal was by a PFD. I mean, I got my personal flotation device. I consider a deep end, Tommy, anything over four feet. Yeah, that, that's a good idea, Andy. I've, I've seen you attempt to swim before, and I really appreciate you're doing the safety first. Okay, so, it was either you. that or my floaties, and I figured the PFD was probably a little safer. <laughs> that's a better idea. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off, and then, you know, I'm getting down on my list here. The only thing I had on here yet was my winter Speedo, which in Wisconsin, this is a winter Speedo. Is Andy, this, Andy, this work? those are face masks. Those aren't, yeah. the, no. Andy, those are face masks. I think we need to revisit that. I don't- Hey, Tommy, listen to me. In Wisconsin, these are dual purpose. We don't waste anything. I, I appreciate you know that. If you're using these in the pool, you don't need them for face masks because social distancing is not a problem. So I'm gonna go I, I ahead. got it, and there's- I'm gonna go ahead and use that for my uh, winter Speedo. And then the last thing on my checklist, Tommy, is for a pool party, you really got to check the pool temp, especially in these climates here. So that, unfortunately, is the one thing when it got all my stuff together, I did not do. So as you can see, checking that pool temp, Tommy, was pretty critical. That Whoa. was rough. That was rough. I, I, that, that hurt. I'm just going to be yeah. honest with you. That hurt. That, that was damn, uh, damn tough. And, and to think that thing was cracked when I got it. <laughs> That's solid. You have some prizes and I some do. winners? You know, actually, we had a couple of prizes beyond the sweatshirts that we gave up. We had a couple of comments, was, was giving away a couple of big prizes, grand prizes to people who engaged with us and, and showed up in our booth and went live with us. So if, uh, if you're ready to go, Tommy, let's have a prize. Uh, let's have a drawing. We did a set of Bose headphones and an iPad. You tell me what you want to start with. Uh, let's do the iPad first. iPad. All right. The lucky winner of the iPad is Greg Torres from Frank's Appliance in Visalia, California. Wins the iPad. Awesome. Awesome. Great right. gift. Congratulations. Congratulations to you, Greg. And then for the Bose headphones. Oh boy, Tommy, I, got, I had to pull one with a tough name. John Stakowiak 
of meal rent, rental and retail in Michigan. Awesome. It's John a great region up there. Is the winner of the headphones. So congratulations to John. I want to thank everybody that took the time to stop by our booth, Tommy. Again, we had great engagement. We had great feedback. Uh, we want to continue to encourage people to engage with us. You know, the communication with YSN, it's a two-way thing. We want to hear your stories. We want to know what's going on, and, and we want to share it with you. you. You and your team have done a fantastic job. Great momentum. You've come a really long way in a short period of time and can't wait to see what you're going to do in the future. Appreciate everything you're doing for us. Thank you, Tommy.